people yeah, to exactly. death. <laughs> you send people, send, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's judging people's lives. Yeah. So yeah. you can't be emotional. You gotta make judgments without the inclusion of emotions. Damn, Love damn. or hate. If you, can, you take a man out, maybe he's killed somebody, eh? yeah. you put him to jail for 30 years exactly. and the family is just is left just like that, man. Exactly. You've destroyed that life and you've taken, you've judged him, but in the end of the day, I mean, you know, it's, it's exactly. the order, man, judgment. The judgment is the Lord's, you know what I'm trying to say? It's not to do with yeah. all personal yeah. emotions, you know what I'm saying? First Corinthians 14, 33, <coughs> for God is not the author of confusion. Right, that's confusion. I mean, our, our, our point, we, we were trying to get into all this, but the spirit has had it when we started talking about this, but, but fucking, that's all confusion. Esau, that's why like Esau's got a goal, man. Esau's got a goal. He's the man of sin. He just proved it. It's, it's guys like him that rule the earth, man. Mm. Going around telling people about what's right and what's wrong. Okay? Right, this is Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right. Okay, where also the Lord was crucified. So this place is just basically Sodom and Egypt all over again, man. You know what I mean? Let's get down the man of sin. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The fact it's all up in the military, man. You know what I'm saying? Rape him one love him. <laughs> these guys, man. Lesbians. Right. And these, one, these people are so far off away from nature that they gotta go. They gotta go, man. Women are, are outside of their natural element, but men are outside of their natural element, and we're both frustrated. Men, you want a woman, right? But the reason why it's so difficult for you to get a woman is because of feminism. Yeah. She's not gonna consent to her natural order because she's been taught otherwise. I don't go and cook and clean. I can do what you can. How dare you try to tell me about following you and, and all this? I'm equal to you. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she's this... trying to see if you try to get with a woman. She's trying to get the upper hand in the relationship because she's insecure. She doesn't want to. She wants to control you. She's because she's insecure. She wants to control you. Because of what? Feminism, man. You were going to say something. Yeah, I was going to say, the saying is, whatever you can do, I can do it better. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to out-argue you. She's trying to combat you, fight, fire with fight. It's like a, a tug of war. A power struggle between you two. Why? Because the, fe and the man is outside of his natural. The reason, so you're angry at the woman because she was feminism. And she and the woman are angry at the man because they'll say they're so goddamn feminine, man. Like this guy. Like this guy, man. Ain't no woman want a, a, a man to follow around after. You know, so you got men that are outside their natural element being feminine. Like how we just read. Turn it against your nature. But we're going to read on, though. Right, this is Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away, and that man of sin be revealed. He revealed his ass, man. The man of perdition. <laughs> he came right in the flesh. He showed himself on the camera. Wow. He was that. Like, he was that. Like, what did no. he say? He said. He said. He was that. Like, he, he smooth words. He smooth words. He was that. Like, yeah. He was that. Like, but don't you think that people should be allowed to live what they want to live? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That's how the devil comes, man. That's how the, the devil. He's got a red skin, right? Suit and tie, and he comes and says, "Well, I know that's your Bible, but I don't want to hear that." Don't you think that people should just live yeah, the way you want think? to live? Like, what do you think? Yeah. That's, what I'm that's how. That's how they. That they, they they're very the good. The, the devil is good with the social tactics, man. He's very socialistic. He knows how to socialize and, and, and act and, and you know this philosophy. the philosophy and yeah, yeah and all that, that that grand fanatics and all them things there. Man. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a he's a he's a master actor. That's how he took over the world by smiling with people <laughs> and shaking people's hand. That's how he took over the earth. And then stabbing you in the back. Not even that. The smiling with people. Shaking their hand and being friendly. That's how we got over, that's how we took over the world. That's how we did it. By 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 getting up in there, man. That's a serpent. Because he's cunning, he's subtle. 
He does things subtly. He's not like the black man's more straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> the black man's more what you see. He's the, he's the honest guy. But honesty doesn't pay in, in, in a world of wickedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honesty, so, so, so the black man not getting his pay. He's not getting his share. Right. Because of how he, he's a man of the most high. He, he, he's like this for him. Esau's like, hmm, maybe we should be more powerful. <laughs> Let's go under. Yeah, let's go under. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's enmity between us and them because our ways are not their ways. Damn. No way. Right, and it says, Second Thessalonians two and four, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of the God, showing himself that he is God. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you. Esau is the master of deception. That's how he got into power. The system is maintained off of deception. There's no way that 10% of the world, and I keep saying this, there's no way that 10% of the world's population can have dominion over the rest of the night said, without deception, without injustice to the people, without deceiving and lying to the people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? He's a, he's a master of deception. That's, that's the main MO of the devil. Go ahead. And it says, for that day shall not come except they come a falling away first. That day shall not come unless they come a falling away first. That day meaning the day of the Lord, the day of the, the kingdom, the day of the Lord, man, until they come what are falling away first. We as a people fell away. For a long time we slumbered and we slept. And we lost our heritage, okay? We lost our identity, we lost our language, we lost everything about ourselves, all right? And our own culture and whole identity and language was dictated to us by another race of people. So we've been under wraps for a long time and this had to happen for the day of the Lord to come. It was necessary that all this had to happen. Otherwise, we would never see the kingdom on earth, man. Go ahead. And that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The man of sin to be revealed, the son of, the man of sin who showed himself in the flesh. Talking about, don't you think that people should be allowed to live their lives? You know, this freedom, this liberty, this liberal, this very liberal, you know what I'm saying? You know, mentality and speech of liberalism. That's how he deceives people, man. And draws people into his net by enticing them with liberal opportunities of equality and justice and all these great uh, extravagant things. Go ahead. I'll jump down to seven. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he whom letteth will let until he'll be taken out of the way. Mystery of iniquity does already work. It is working right now. And it's no longer a mystery because it's all being brought out into the open. The, who's the people of iniquity? Esau, the Edomites. You see them walking around us right now. Okay? And he that now let will let him until he be taken out of the way. So we gotta let all these things happen. You are Sir Jake's talking about how they wanna uh, 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 come together and somehow create businesses and put monies together to buy land and to buy, uh, you know, buildings to, you know, uh, 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 educate their children, to create an economy, or to, to have certain businesses that sell, you know, fashion businesses and shit, man. Thinking that they're gonna create their own salvation. They're gonna deliver themselves. IUIC. Huh? That's what IUIC are doing, yeah. IUIC, that's them, but you even Jake's in the world, man. Even Jake's in the world that are still about, you know, black empowerment, they're still trying to uh, somehow practically uh, deliver themselves through creating businesses. You got Jake's in the world that are trying to do that. Okay, on a downloader. But it's going to say, the only thing, the only person that's going to let us be delivered and, and, and make Esau be taken out of the way is the Most High. Go ahead. And it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Right. 
and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So this man is being revealed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. The Moses is spirit on high is guiding and directing our past man to come out here to the highways and make videos exposing who the wicked is man. Okay? So the Mosai is working through us. The same way the Mosai is working through the wicked of our people to make them do the things that they're doing. And so the Mosai is working through us to make us do the things that we're doing. The Mosai is working through the, the government, the different governments of the world to fulfill prophecy, to fulfill the things that are written within the Bible. Man. So the Mosai spirit is working on all these people you see out here. It's the vibration of the Lord is upon the planet Earth to make all these signs happen, all these things take place in the Earth to fulfill a, 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 a prophecy, man. You understand? So when we're out here, we're not out here by our own will. The will of the Most High is working through us, man. Okay? You understand? Go ahead. Uh, it's said like Jeremiah 5 and 14 and it says, Wherefore thus saith Yahweh power of host, because ye speak this word, Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, right. and these people would, and it shall devour them. Right, so the told, yeah, most has put a certain powerful spirit within brothers, man. Because me, myself, I'm, I ain't no fucking <laughs> confident guy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite this a mellow kind of guy. But when I'm out here teaching, another spirit come with me. Why? Because the most has made this a certain spirit within brothers to actually deliver man and execute like a sword and cut people to shreds and burn them up like in this red brother this red make my words in your mouth like fire but fire is what fire is uncontrollable man fire can't be controlled you can't use your hands and say stay there and the fire just stays there and if you have spiritual power what well, we don't so fire is that's the wildfires you have, the white man has to get helicopters man to pour down water from on high to put out that wildfire, man. The wildfire is so destructive that people have to evacuate towns, okay, to escape that fire, man. Like what happened in um, at the Grenfell Tower. Yeah. What a fucking quick time, the whole, whole building burnt down, man. Everybody in there dead, man. Within minutes, dead. That's how powerful fire is. So when we come out here, the most side dealing with not, not, not the mighty, okay? Yeah, yeah. But he's dealing with the small guy to execute power okay right. and burn up the people them that are bringing forth the wickedness as the scriptures say um, the righteous is bold like a lion like a lion that's cool man that's cool man no drop that from that here <laughs> if you had cursed the bar, you probably would have stood there alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, like I said, but the righteous is bold like a lion and the wicked flee. Why the wicked flee? But the wicked, they're in power. They have the power. The wicked have the power. The righteous don't have no power here. We're the weak guys. The righteous are weak. We're the poor. The needy. The fatherless. We don't have no power. But the ones who have power are fleeing from us. Why are they running from us? Because we have the spiritual power of the scriptures. We have spiritual power right here. And we're burning the wicked up. Okay? We're cutting them, as the scriptures say, the word shall be like a double-edged sword, man. So the word that we're speaking is like a weapon, man. And when you look at the word sword, it's, a, it's an instrument of death. So this word, this instrument of death, is cutting up the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Luke 21, 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You understand? So the Most High has given us this, this spirit, man. He's giving, he's providing us of a certain spirit to stand out here boldly and take on the masses like a man of war on a battlefield, yeah. exposing himself to danger, man. Exposing himself to the gaps. Okay, for this little random guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you look at the Jew, Ezekiel, I think it's the 13th chapter, it says, ye have not gone into the gaps. You look at the word gaps, it means um, a soldier putting himself in a position of danger on the battlefield, exposing himself to danger, man. So that's what we're doing right now, through the spirit on high, of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We out here 
in his spirit, in that ancient mentality, man. And we're pouring out the spirit and destroying all those that try to gain it. As the scripture say, I am set for what? The defense of the good news, man. All right? Now that's what we're doing, bringing out some good news, but people want to hate. We're talking about we hate homos. Yeah, we obviously we hate the wickedness, but the, the man themselves, we don't hate them, it's the wickedness that they're doing. That's what we told them to repent. Well, go ahead. It's at Jeremiah 1 and 7, and it says, uh, But Yahweh said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that are sent thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said Yahweh. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. That's beautiful. Because Jeremiah was a little youth, man. And if the rest of Pharaoh saw him, say, Yo, you a youth, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you want to tell me? You know? You are a youth to me, brother. You know? That's what the rest of man would tell him. You know? But he was a youth. But yet the Moesai chose him and said, Listen, I'm going to put my words. The Moesai sucked with him. The Moesai sucked with him. And the revelation said, Behold, I, I, I knock it from the door. To him that open up, I will, I will come in and, and sup with you. All right? So the most I sup with Jeremiah. Why? Because Jeremiah was one of them spirits, man, in the beginning, that created all of this. He was one of them spirits. But that's why I say, the Lord will do nothing but reveal if what? His secret unto his servants, the prophets. So that little child, as Yahweh Shai he said, listen, unless you be like this child, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom. All right? But the most I chose what child? Wait, that's it? Proverbs. Wait, uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Why? Because when we were children, we all had our plans of what we wanted to do. I personally want to be a lawyer. When I, was in, when I was in secondary school, I was all up in the library telling myself I'm going to be a lawyer and get them big bucks. <laughs> but you know what happened? I wound up being a Sainsbury's, then I wound up being a fucking construction worker, then I wound up fucking being a secretary, then I wound up being a delivery. Now I'm out here doing this. Why? Because I never thought that I was going to wind up in the street <laughs> speaking to, to prophesying to the wind. Why? Because the most I, before I was even born, already had it set up for me what I was going to wind up doing in the future. Alright? Man don't understand his own ways. Why? Because our goings of the Lord has all been predestined what we're going to do. What's that on? Alright? Who opposeth and exalts himself above all that is called God. And it said, it said, uh, the man of perdition, right? The word perdition means what? Utter destruction. And that's and what, what comes to your mind? The abomination of what? Desolation. That's what this man, he brought, he brought desolation, he brought destruction, he changed times and laws, he destroyed laws and times. And now what? He's getting ready to be destroyed. So he's just destroyed from beginning to the fucking end. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So this guy is just fucked. <laughs> That's why I call him the vessel of dishonor. That's why he say what? He's opposing the Most High. How are you opposing the Most High? You're opposing the Most High by coming around and saying, listen, you ain't gonna follow that. 
you can just be free to live your own life. That's how he's opposing the most high, man. This whole setup, the image of this whole system, this image of this beast, is set up to fight against the intentions of the most high, to fight against the will of the most high, which is laws and commandments. That is love. This society talks about love without understanding the meaning of love. The meaning of love is order. Love is order, man, realistically. Yeah, yeah. Love is order, man. If you love your son, what are you going to do? All right, Harry, go and do what you want to do. Go and be free to do what you want to do. No, you got to do what the scriptures say how to treat your child. You better discipline your child, man. You have to ready your child for being a man, for manhood, for, for having a potential wife. Because one day, you as the father, you're going to die. And your father and your son is going to take off you. Okay? And if your son is a down fool, he's going to make a fool of you in front of, in front of your, your friends, man. So it's your duty as a father to train your son in the way that he should go. Alright? And that's how the Mosai did with us as a nation. The Mosai took us out of captivity, brought us to Mount Sinai, gave us laws and commandments. Okay? He gave us the love of his discipline, or the discipline of his love, man, and said, listen, this is the way you're going to go. You're going to be a holy people. You're going to execute these judgments and justices. You're going to be clean. I'm going to, I'm going to make you a clean nation. I'm going to beautify you. I'm going to make other nations to respect you because of these laws that I've given you. I'm going to make other nations to come and revere you, to adore you, okay? To basically worship you because of these holy laws, because of this great order that you, that I have brought to you. That's what the most I did, he showed us love. Okay? In fact, let me, let me hold it right there. Hold it. That's what he says. Hold on. This is our Wisdom of Solomon, chapter six. Verse um, 17. Okay, let me start from verse 12. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. Right? Go to verse 17. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her laws. And the, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. So the scriptures tell you. Okay? So the scriptures answer itself. So we're gonna go back to how this man opposes the most high. Uh, that's, that's just, that's just on, a, on, a, on a, uh, you could say a more spiritual level, okay? By bringing about certain laws that's ordaining, the sodomy, okay? Or what else? What other sinful things? Yeah, there's this man from home. Transgenderism. Transgenderism. Ian yeah. Hawk. Ian Strip. Yeah, anything you want. Right, he, oh, he says, um, Casualties are a fact of life and war. And he says that when he drops bombs on people, man. Huh? He's a wicked man. That's why it says the son of perdition. And not only that, the way he's doing this, he's laid hands upon the apple of the Most High's hand. That's how he's opposing the Most High. Right? That's right. And no man deceives you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. That's Yeah.
really go back to the Renaissance period, was when they were taking us out of Europe. They, the way he had first exalted himself as God was to paint the house as a white man, Cesare Bourget. Then they, they, every film of our people, it's got like um, Kate Blanchett is um, uh, playing King James's mother, man. You know, pulling her, uh, uh, trying to make her like she's a wicked queen and all that. That's the way the, um, this, this devil opposes himself above God. Because the Lord said, what, King James, King James was a righteous king, man, like King David was, you know? So that's a long way, he's an iconoclasm. That's how he's trying to profess himself to be the most high, sit in the temple like he is the most high, and all that. Right? Iconoclasm. He opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God, saith in the temple of God, show himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And know ye, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, and this is his time to be revealed. With. Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who no letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Where? And when shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth Where? and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. For when the Lord comes, Jeez. That's going to be the end of this song, man. That's going to be the end of it, man. I feel like, hallelujah, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, he's done. He's, he's finished. The end of terror is done. <laughs> Lord, the reign of terror is finished. Sin City has been destroyed. Now, we can put our feet up, get, get the women, <laughs> get, get the motherfucking slaves, okay? Put Esau head first and the slavery feet last, okay? All these other nations, man. Then we can get the palaces built. We can get them, them cities built. We can go back to Israel. You know what I'm saying? We can we can use our power to rejuvenate the earth again. We can be we, we can hang out with the man. We can actually hang out with the Shai. The Howard Shai is gonna be telling our stories, man. In Hebrew. And we're gonna be there listening at the campfire and shit, man. He's going to be telling us stories of how the earth is created yeah, yeah, and bringing yeah. back our powers of remembrance, remembering how we, the elect, created everything with him. No matter you're going to be sitting there and your house is going to be telling us things that we didn't know. Because we, we don't know nothing. We already know. That's why it says we prophesy in part and we know in part. We don't know everything. Your house is going to be telling us everything. That's something. Because uh, in the book of, uh, I think it's Luke, it says all the things that Yahweh Shai did, yeah, yeah. the books of the world cannot contain them. No, can't, can't contain them. So he's going to be telling us, we're going to be learning, you know, tell us the stories, yeah. this, you know. Wow. You know we tell us remember. Stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to be telling us who we were and, and she's wow. who he was. Yeah, yeah, because today, even so if the you... mysteries in the scriptures that we probably didn't get right, perfect. You know what I'm saying? All in order, he's going to tell us everything. Tell us how the earth was created in detail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, because uh, even even if it was written in books, there be so many books that we cannot sit down and read them all, man. Never, yeah. you know, in life, yeah. Man. No, yeah. yeah. It's here in this flesh. Yeah, yeah. That's why we want to go the one book that we concentrate with, man. One book. Yeah. Lord, Lord compiled it. So yeah, know yeah, the yeah. things we need, yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy, the secret things belong to the Most High. Right. Yeah. And the, the ones that are revealed to us, man. Yeah. That's right. See, see, we, see if, if we knew everything, we'd be proud. Right. We'd, be, we'd be all lifted up, saying, yes, well, you don't need to do I already know what You know what Jake is. Yeah. Jake likes to act like he knows everything. That guy, innit? Like, if he told Jake something, like, we knew that already, but Jake. <laughs> that guy, you know, Jake, you know what niggas is, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now we were just chatting, he specifically came over to me. Me. And he was like, he said something, and I was sitting down, then I got up because everyone was standing up around me and I thought we were like, <laughs> So I stood up. And he was like, why, why are you standing up? Why are you standing up? Why are you standing up? Why are your hands all moving? He was all criticizing me. 
Yeah. And he says, if you're here, everything you know, I need to already. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said, yeah. <laughs> no, that's how every nigga says, man. That's like their favorite statement, man. Yeah, I know. That's like a, a certain statement that they all... Yeah. Listen, if anybody says this, then say that. Say you already knew that. No, niggas, man. Yeah, Jake is lazy. No, so that's why the most had to deprive us <laughs> of certain things, which is good. Yeah. You know, so we don't be lifted up. But you know, it's good to our knowledge puffing up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knowledge yeah, puffing yeah. up, man. So the Lord taught us what is needful for us to know. That's why I said, inquire not of how the ungodly shall perish, but inquire of what? How the, the righteous shall be saved. Focus on certain things. You don't need to be concerned with everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's another one that says, uh, seek not the things that are too high for them. This is yeah. really what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> there's too, uh, there's too, too many things that will bug Jake out. Man. Exactly. Yeah, have you found out Say it's where faggot faggot spirits came from? You might know. I'm good. Not You might show your past life, and you might. Be you might be the faggot. Yeah. You are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> like, what if you found out that next you got poked by another man in your life? That shit will, be, will piss you off, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah you, got you, like, you be careful what you wish for. And yeah. You know, yeah. How you found out? <laughs> <laughs> don't bring the louder. The Lord will allow that, bro. Like every prophet. Like you was a faggot. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you was a faggot, but you turned to rat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't allow that, bro. No, but no that's way. that's the whole point of him dying. Man. It's a clean up, isn't it? Right. So yeah, uh, the renewing of like, the generations. Yeah, isn't it? I don't want to know that. Though. <laughs> nah. I know what you're saying, yeah, no, <laughs> but that's the way the Lord works, man. He'll yeah, make yeah, you a filthy yeah. vessel, clean you up, and he will be glorified. Uh, Antoine Dodds, you know that faggot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's changed. He's a hitch right now. Man. Got kids and everything. Well, this is this is the scripture, Surah so chapter three, verse twenty-one. All right. <coughs> Surah so three, verse twenty-one. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. You got certain Edomites out there that want to find out why the earth is fucking three dimensional. <laughs> why isn't it two that they want to find out certain things like why all the all the planets are round? Why are some triangle and why are some why can't some be like a hexagon shape? Why are they all circular? Why are they all why is there like an orbit? You understand? Uh, how many, how many uh, uh, galaxies are there out there? Things that are above human understanding. Yeah. How, how were uh, stars created? What were stars made out of? You know, why? Do, how does it illuminate? What, why does everything exist? It's beyond. Some things are beyond your understanding at the moment, and it's not for you to be concerned. It says, neither serve the things that are above thy strength, but what is commanded thee. Think they're upon with reverence. What have we been commanded to do? To come out here in the highways, man. The way say, what did the, what did the, what did the Lord tell his servant? Go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come into my house that my house may be uh, filled. Yeah. Right, uh, 14. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in, un 